Hello everyone, this is Normandy1998 here to give you my review of Steven Universe, Free Gems, and a Baby. Now, sorry I haven't been able to get any reviews out, but with the episode count at an all-time low, it means I can't get reviews out. Theory-wise, I haven't really come up with something. I have a couple of ideas I might upload in the next couple of days or so, but I'm kind of busy with some other stuff. I'm getting ready for The Walking Dead, so yeah. Now, let's talk about the episode. It was a good episode. Definitely a good watch if you got the time, because you see the characters how they were just after Steven was born, at least a few months. Now, the episode basically some, well follows the first Christmas slash winter Steven was around, and basically the gems are happy he's around, but obviously some of them are like, gone, it's just going, oh no, no, it's not baby Rose, it's baby Steven, because it's like she's understanding it more than anyone. Pearl is just... She just doesn't want to be there because, as we all know, Pearl loved Rose. And just f thinking the fact that she's gone, it's, he's still in that denial phase. They end up hanging around with Steven, giving him a few gifts and that. But then when his gem glows, they think Rose is still alive. So they end up kidnapping Steven and taking the van. And they're trying to convince her, come on, Rose, come back. And at first thinks she's just change form and either A doesn't want to change back or can't change back so try and show her while Garnet thinks oh you just fuse somehow and tries to convince her to defuse and also shows well a famous couple of Sapphire and Ruby they only make a quick appearance but it was happy to see them they're two of my favorite characters in the show but as I was saying no and then we just see how they finally understand Rose isn't coming back, that Steven is something they've never dealt with before, any gem had dealt with before, he's a hybrid. They kind of understand that, heck, even Pearl starts to figure it out. And at one point it did seem she kind of went dark because, as I said, he loved Rose and the fact that she's suddenly gone, like it was bad enough for her to deal with the fact she was dating Greg, but as she said in the first episode where we saw Rainbow Quartz, she said, oh, you're just a phase. So she was upset, but she also was used to Rose doing this sort of thing. But the fact that they, Rose is finally gone, and this has happened, Steven being born, you just really can feel she's in a dark place, just so depressed that she's gone. And... Overall, it was a great episode. It gave us a no more background into the story of Greg and Rose and the gems. But the problem I have with it, though, is they've jumped the Greg, the Greg Rose story arc. It's like, we had them meet. We had them date for a while with, you know, baby sour cream. And, well, sour, yeah, sour cream, I think. I have not seen this character so long, so if, forgive me if I get wrong. But... As I was saying, no. But now they jump from them dating for a good long while to Steven being born. Like, did they just do it because it's uh, something of a winter slash Christmas special? Or what? It's just, I really want them to keep bringing Rose in. I love the voice actress who plays her character. I love the character in general. It's, she's one of the good things I like about those special episodes. So yeah, I really hope this is one, an only, like a one-time thing because... The thing is, that we n haven't seen the episode where they decide to have Steven or figuring out more about gem biology when it comes down to this whole thing. So yeah, like I said, I hope this was a one-time thing and they bring Rose back a good few times for a few more episodes. Because, as I said, her character's too good to suddenly drop like that. So, yeah. Just say, I'll see if I can get some theories out in a while, but I haven't done anything proper about it. I have come up with a few ideas, so... Yeah, this is Normandy1998, signing out, and I hope you enjoyed the video.